Hello friends, in today's video I'd like to share with you my experience growing Indian broad beans or field beans or wal as it is known locally here in Mumbai. This is a variety of Fasciolus vulgaris. Now th these are large, white, beautiful beans and I absolutely loved the beans when I saw them. I used my usual non-soil potting mix, a mixture of coconut coir, compost, worm castings and vermiculite to grow these beans and this requires watering every third day. For drainage one can mix either river sand or vermiculite or perlite into the potting mix. If one is using clay soil which tends to get very hard once it dries, one may use a slow watering method like the one you see on the screen right now where I have inverted a bottle into the soil so that the water is absorbed slowly rather than just running out of the container. These beans prefer moderate watering like any other beans. Now I soak the seeds for 2 hours so that they absorb water and swell up. I then used the paper towel method for germination. I put the soaked seeds on a tissue and folded it, sprayed the tissue to moisten it. Now since these seeds were so large, I checked on the seeds daily and sprinkled more water if required. The sprouts emerged nice and strong within 2 days. These seeds need to be sowed at least an inch deep and I'm just laying the seeds on the surface and then adding an inch or so of potting mix from the top. I have used a 15 by 15 inch grow bag here. However, one can get away with a container that is even 12 inches deep because the beans are shallow rooted. I have two plants in this 15 by 15 inch grow bag. One can easily have six. The variety I am growing is a pole type, which works very well for my growing space. This is the extent of the plant after two months. Once the vine is established, I remove the leaves from the lower portions to avoid shading out of the other plants. Field beans are not heavy feeders and I added a handful of neem fertilizer once the bloom started to appear and once a month thereafter. Now these plants attracted plenty of aphids, however I did not use any spray to get rid of them because ladybugs arrived to feast on them. The pods are ready to harvest when one can see the beans are nice and plump within. This is the harvest from one plant. One would need at least 8 plants to give a good harvest for one meal for a family of four. The beans were delicious and tender and we ate them as soon as we shelled them. They did not make it to the kitchen. This is one bean that I will be growing in my balcony container garden every year. Hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Happy gardening!